Hello, my name is Ted. I am Victor Echo 7 Lima Echo Echo. And today, this is my first D-Star video. I'm going to take the Raspberry Pi and program it as a repeater so that I can use my DV dongle, the red one, on VHF and to act as a repeater. I've already registered a call sign, which is Victor Alpha 7 Romeo Echo Foxtrot. And I have registered that with IRC DDB and they returned me a password. I am going to follow the instructions in this manual that I printed off the website uh, called Freestar, Beagle Board and Raspberry Pi. Image Insulation and Quick Start Guide for Gateway and Personal Hotspots by Ramish, whose call sign is Victor Alpha 3 Uniform Victor. And this is version 0 0.5, January 18th, 2013. So, what I'm going to do, download an image and burn it on one of these SD cards. This is an 8 and this is a 4. And this is the original operating system that I purchased, but you can download it for free anyways. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to pause now and okay. come back later. I have finished programming it. And now we're going to test it out. I have the monitor plugged in here into the high definition port. I have the internet plugged in and I pre-program my router here for a static IP address. And I have the keyboard plugged in and that's about it. I burned the image for CentOS on an 8 gigahertz card because it would not fit on a 4 gigahertz. I was short by, I think, 2 megs or so. So now we're going to turn it on and see if we were successful in programming the Raspberry Pi. Uh, that goes in here, and you can see the screen. Normally when running, you do not need the monitor or the keyboard. So you can see it's programming it right now. Might as well turn off the mute. And we've got the red light. We've got the fifth green light on. The two uh, carrier, uh, carrier light, I guess, receive data, send data. And then the yellow light. Got something. Okay. Right now, as we can see on the screen, we got 192.168.0.222. That is a static IP address I have set up. And on the next test, I will plug in the DVAP here, the monitor, or the keyboard. So as you can see, it's programming it right now. Might as well turn off the mute. And we've got the red light. We've got the fifth green light on. The two uh, carrier, uh, carrier light, I guess, receive data, send data. And then the yellow light. I have this program to a simplex frequency, but I have this program for duplex, either plus or minus with zero offset. It cannot be on a simplex configuration because this is a repeater. And you see we've got data flowing through already. So let's see. I will bring up Reflector 1 Charlie. I got it on super low power. Says I am link. This is Victor Echo 7, Lima Echo Echo, testing out my Raspberry Pi.
Hello, M0 DLC, Victor Echo 7 Lima Echo Echo. Just letting you know I'm making a YouTube video and you're going to be in my YouTube video. I hope you don't mind. Uh, no problems with being in any uh, YouTube videos. <laughs> Mike the world's famous AI. From M0 DLC, personal name is Barry, obviously. Yeah, hello Barry. The name here is Ted, uh, Victor Echo 7, Lima Echo Echo, and I'm using a Raspberry Pi repeater to uh, connect with you through VA7REF, and that uh, this is currently being recorded right now. And just to show people how to program the Raspberry Pi in repeater configuration there. Can you tell me a bit more about the, um, the, um, the Run the system in the Unix system, or is it actually a Windows based Raspberry Pi? Yes, M0DLC VE7LEE. Okay, this is uh, Linux based, and I am using what's called CentOS version of Linux um, uh, to operate the Raspberry Pi. And I'm using uh, Victor Alpha 3 Uniform Victor's image there, uh, the Freestar image, to make it operate there. So mine will operate either on the XRF reflectors or the REF reflectors there, Barry. But one thing, twice when you came back to me, you had some RTD2 at the beginning of your signal. Then after five seconds, it was okay, fine there. Over. Okay, well, it's, I purchased a power supply that came with it, a 5 volt power supply at 1000 milliamps, and that's plugged into the micro USB I'm pointing it to now. So maybe in 30 minutes you can watch the video. And then through the USB port, it is plugged in into a DVAT that I'm holding up now. And, that, uh, and I currently have the monitor, but normally I would not have the monitor hooked up, but I just have it to monitor the configuration while I'm programming it there to show it on a YouTube video there. But uh, what I should do there, uh, Barry, you served my purpose there, so uh, I'm going to upload this video and check it out first before I upload it to YouTube. So you should be able to watch it in, uh, in about maybe 20 minutes or so. I, uh, okay, I did have a no-no, I did not write down your call sign here, but I'll look it up here on the screen there, Barry. Uh, this is VE7LEE. -E. Uh, yeah, so Mike, D zero Delta Lima Tango. Delta Lima Tango. Uh, I wish you uh, best of phrase with the uh, YouTube project. I'll um, also do a bit more research on the um, Raspberry Pi thing because um, I'm looking at buying the um, Icon D80 um, very shortly myself. Um, I've got the 2820 that I'm running at the moment. This is for the home. But um, I think I'm not putting one in the car myself when um, I go mobile. But um, I wish you so much for his well said and um, look forward to listening to the video on YouTube. Okay, very good there, Barry. Uh, Mike at Zero Delta. Lima Tango, this is Victor Echo 7. Lima Echo Echo is clear. Okay. okay, that concludes my programming setting up the Raspberry Pi 
to operate in the DEV app has in repeater configuration. Please like this uh, video and you can add any comments down below there. Thank you for watching. VE7LEE -E, out.